Do you know why Mr. Beast and other popular creators make their subtitles like this? These subtitles not only provide some sense of motion on screen, it helps to maintain the viewer's attention to their videos. Especially when they're making a fast-paced video with a complex subject, these subtitles provide a textual presentation of spoken words, so viewers can understand and enjoy the content. It also helps the viewers hard of hearing and make their videos more engaging. So today's video I am going to show you step by step how you can make 3 engaging animated subtitles inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting more time, let's dive in. Here I have already placed the video footage and the audio clip in the timeline. So first click on window and open up text. Here you will get the transcript option. Now just click on transcribe and it will automatically transcribe your audio into text. As you can see, the text is perfectly transcribed with the voiceover. If there are any mistakes on the auto transcription, you can easily edit them by click on this pen icon. Now let's create caption with these texts. So click on the caption icon. And here you will get the caption window. Expand the caption preferences to see more details. Now set the maximum character length around 10. Set the duration to 1.2 seconds. And set the lines to single. Then just click on create captions. As you can see, the texts are converted into frame by frame captions that are perfectly synced with the audio. Now we need to customize the captions. So select one caption in your timeline and go to window. Then open up essential graphics tab to customize the captions. Here, I am using a popular subtitle font is called Comica Axis. I'm gonna set the font size 80. Enable all caps. With this caption block feature, you can easily change the position of the subtitle. To animate the captions, we need to keep them on center. Then click on center text vertically to align your caption. Now let's add some color on the caption. I am using a color wheel to do this one. And you can download it under the description link. Then click on fill color. Inside the color picker, select solid to linear gradient. Now pick two colors from the color wheel. For the top color I'm gonna use the tertiary. And for the bottom color I'm gonna use this one. Then click on OK. Now enable stroke. And set the color to black. Increase the thickness to around 15. Apply the same setting to all of the captions. Click on create style, rename your subtitle track, and just click on OK. Let's check the preview. As you can see, the subtitles are already looks awesome. Click on A button on your keyboard, now hold on Shift plus A button, to get the track select forward tool, then click on the subtitle track, and it will select all of the subtitles from the subtitle track. Now go to graphics and titles, and just click on upgrade caption to graphic. It will convert your subtitles into the graphic layer. Now we can easily animate them, so select one subtitle from the graphic layer, and go to effects tab. Then search for transform effect, and add this to your selected subtitle track. Then go to the effect controls tab, move the indicator to the beginning, and add a keyframe on scale. Set the scale level to 75, then move 4 frames forward. You can use the right arrow key on your keyboard. Now click on this little reset icon, and make these keyframes ease in and ease out. To make this animation more smooth, expand the scale, and make this curve line just like that. To add the motion blur, disable use composition shutter, and set the shutter angle to 360. Let's check the preview. It looks perfect for me. Now we can save this effect as a preset, so that we can easily apply this effect to all other subtitles. Right click on the transform effect, click on save preset, rename your preset, and then click on OK. Now clear this effect from this layer. Then go to Effects tab, and search for the preset. Now you can use this preset to all of the subtitles. So back to the timeline, again press Shift plus A button on your keyboard, and click on the subtitle track to select them. Now just drag and drop your preset on the subtitle track. And we have done. As you can see, the effect is perfectly applied to all subtitles. Also I want to let you know that I have made some subtitle presets for you. You can check it out under the description link. Inside this preset pack, you will get 25 presets, and all the presets are very easy to use. 
Just select your subtitle track and drag and drop a preset. As you can see, it looks so smooth. Let's add a pop-up effect from the preset pack. It looks awesome. Also, I have added 7 amazing effect inside the presets. These effects will make your subtitle more catchy. So here, I am applying blur effect from the effects. As you can see, it looks more pretty. And the best part of this presets pack, you can use multiple presets at the same time. So remove all the attributes from the subtitle and apply multiple effects. As you can see, multiple effects are working so smoothly on the same subtitle. Inside this pack I've included a video tutorial as well. Now let's create the word by word subtitle animation. So click on the caption icon and move to the caption window. Set the maximum character length around 36. Set the duration to 1.2 seconds and set the lines to single. Then just click on create captions. Select a caption in your timeline and move to the essential graphics panel. Here I am using another popular subtitle font is called Bungie. I'm setting the font size 35. Now change the position of the subtitle to the center. To use the subtitle presets, we need to keep them in center. Then align your caption by clicking on the center text vertically. Now enable background and set the color to black. Increase the size of the background to approximately 15. Then set the corner radius to around 12. To apply the same setting all of the captions, create a new style, type a style name, and click on OK. As we can see, the effects are already applied to all of the captions. Now we need to upgrade these captions to the graphic layer. So again select the captions layer, by using the track select forward tool. Then go to the graphics and titles, select upgrade caption to graphic. Now let's apply a subtitle preset to this graphic layer. Here I'm gonna use the lens distortion effect. Let's check a quick preview. This effect looks pretty. To animate them word by word, we need to cut every word in these graphic layers. So zoom in the timeline to watch the audio waveform perfectly, now listen and watch the audio track properly. And cut the every word separately in the graphic layer. Use the shortcut Ctrl plus K to make a cut. Continue with this process until you reach the end. Now select the first from the graphic layer, move to the program window and select the first word of your title. Then open up the color wheel. Under the essential graphic panel, click on the fill color picker icon. And select your favorite color from the color wheel. Now select the second cut from the graphic layer, and select the second word of your title. Then again change the fill from the color wheel. And I'm going to use the same color for all the words. Again move to the third cut to the graphic layer, and do the same things. I just speed up this part, so you don't have to wait. Let's check the preview. I think this one looks awesome. Now let's see how to change the position of these subtitles. Select all of the subtitles, right click on your mouse, and nest them. Then select the nested layer, and move to the effect controls tab. Here you can easily change the position of the subtitles. So that's it for the second one. Now let's create final one. For this animation, I don't need the background color. So let's disable it. This time I am using the most commonly used font is called Montserrat. Now select the rectangle tool, and click anywhere in your timeline to deselect the graphic layer. Now move to the program window and make a rectangle shape just like that. Then take the selection tool, zoom in the program window, and move these points to create a slightly round shape. Now move the shape layer under the subtitle track. Then cut and delete the unwanted part. Now back to the beginning. And again cut the every word separately in the shape layer. Continue this process till the end. Now select the first cut from the shape layer, move to the essential graphics tab, click on shape 1. Now we need to adjust the shape position for the first word. Then select the second cut from the shape layer. 
Again adjust the shape position for the second word. Move to the third cut, and continue the same process for all the words. Let's check out the final preview. It helps to maintain the viewers attention and I absolutely love this word by word subtitle animation. Now select the subtitle and shape layers and nest them. Then go to effect control tab and change the position where it looks perfect. So that's it for three engaging subtitle animations. You can let me know in the comments section which one is your favorite. I'll see you in my next video on Tuesday.